guys, and a welcome from me, this is Championship Manager 0102, the DTL, Season 5, the month of May. Now, I've got a little bit of catch-up to do here, because um, I didn't do April, uh, I didn't do April, and um, I obviously um, didn't get a chance to do the video, I did my, my squad and all that sort of shit. So, a little bit of catch-up for you from a video perspective, okay, so, spoilers alert, Champions League then. Southampton are there. Durham looking good as he goes into the semi-finals where he'll meet Spectral. Uh, now, the big thing about the Champions League, of course, is um, Mark, who runs this, uh, awards X amount of prize money for um, Cups 1, league placings, that sort of stuff. So all this is really a case of um, building a, a nice budget for next season, which no doubt everyone's going to be looking at that. I know I am. But... Um, that, that, that's how it works in that sense. Whilst we're here, actually, let's. I didn't realise that's how, how it was going to fire up. Uh, see if we can find the UEFA Cup as well, then. Um, ready, Eddie. Tramir Rovers. Um, I actually didn't realise that. So, um, right. I'm going to be careful here. Rise. <laughs> right, OK. Rise. That's who you're staying as, Rise. Um, th that, to be fair to Rise here, that, that is a... Absolute phenomenal achievement. He, uh, whatever happens, whatever happens against Scout, but he will be favourites. I think he'll be favourites to win that. Um, and if he don't, he should be sacked. Simple as that. Um, so let's go straight into it now. Then let's just put us. Put, let's start with us. Okay. Let's start with uh, the mighty Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now we've actually had a fairly good uh, month. I mean, even Mark's words here, a much uh, stronger month, which has put us on course for a European spot. So, um, in terms of our April month then, we, uh, we were beaten to Redders on the opening game of the month, which was a bit shit, but we deserved to lose. I think there's no doubt about that. We deserved to lose. Uh, we then played Rice uh, and his Tramir Rovers. Um, probably a draw was a fair result. I think 10 men was a bit shit. So, I think whilst it was a decent month, it was a bit of a shitty start, to be honest with you. Um, but then we took on AMC in the league, and uh, a well-deserved victory, no doubt about that, well-deserved indeed, uh, now this, <laughs> this was uh, quite a surprise, um, this is the first time I loaded up, I have seen the results, but I haven't loaded up any stats or anything like that, um, so we beat Trunky, and uh, do you know what, I, I was half expecting, right, I was half expecting us to, um, Hit him to have dominated us. I didn't realise it was so tight. So that, that is a big result. More about Trunky in a moment, uh, but I will take the win. And finally, AI, we played Millwall and we won 4-0. Um, but the problem is, uh, our last two games of the season <laughs> is against uh, Marimo, against Arsenal, uh, and of course against Man City, AJ. So we'll see how that flares up. But this is where we're at in the table with two league games to go. Um, I don't see us. I mean, look how close it is up there. I mean, we're only uh, outside the top four on goal difference. I mean, that is ridiculously close. Uh, but there are games in hand here for Chelsea and Southampton. Um, so I think they're going to have a bit of a busy month. We'll have that in a moment. Let's start with Trunky then. Trunky, two league games to go. He's on the brink, isn't he? He's on the brink. And it's a deserved title for Trunky, uh, assuming he takes it. Um, what is he? He's 11 clear. I mean, he's technically five clear. Even if Man City win their games in hand, he is on the brink. He really is. And uh, credit where it's due. Uh, maybe if he'd beaten me, he'd have sewn up the title. But he didn't because the Mighty Wolves were just too strong for him. That's <laughs> nah, all good. So, um, okay. FA Cup final, I should have, should have looked at that really, shouldn't I? So, Trunky, <laughs> Trunky will take on AJ in the FA Cup final. Um, so, good old Trunky is going for the double. He really is going for the double. And I can't remember for the life of me what the outcome of the League Cup was. Trunky won, <laughs> Trunky won it, sorry. Um, AJ, uh, AJ took it. I couldn't remember, where was that? Let me just... That, yeah, yeah, okay, that's why I didn't, I don't remember it, because it was on the previous, it would have been on the previous video. So, AJ, AJ is gunning for a cup double, um, and I think we need to, um, okay, that's quite interesting. AJ's gunning for a cup double, 
I so, tell what caught my. I think I spoke about this before, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. So I saw the PP. Um, but nevertheless, Trunky's caught up with. Uh, now this is interesting because if Trunky had was in the Champions League, if he was in Europe, then he'd have had a real backlog of games with postponements and shit like that. I've told Mark he needs to pull his fucking finger out. Um, so Trunky, well done. You're looking good. And AJ, of course, AJ is going for um, the quadruple. Correct? Am I reading that right? He's going for the quadruple. I think he's probably given up on the league, to be honest with you. Um, but, it, you know... <sighs> no, I got that wrong. I got that totally wrong. Apologies there, AJ. You were of the quadruple. But as you can see there... <laughs> as you can see there... Um, Derm knocked him out of the Champions League. Okay, scrap that shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, a good week, a uh, good week, a good month for uh, Trunky indeed. AJ, I mean, bit of a tough month for AJ, I think it's fair to say. You know, Hull City beat him in the league, and I think that just topped off his month really with regard to Champions League exit. But, you know, he's still going for a cup double, and, you know, that is one hell of a feat to have. But he's got quite an entertaining month ahead of him. And,. Do you know what's so ironic, really, is he's got back-to-back -back games against Colchester. So we'll see. And, of course, his final game of the season is at home to the mighty Wolverhampton Wanderers. Let's see how that goes. Now then, Spectral, 68. Southampton, 68. Wolves, 68. Hull, 68. It's going to be... It's going to get messy, isn't it? It is going to get messy. He's in for a hell of a month, Spectral. Um, you can see his, his games. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a war. It really is. Um, and Southampton. <laughs> well... You know, you, you couldn't script some of this, could you? You really couldn't. Um, um, it, it, it'll want it'll want to it want to win that Champions League. He will, and he'll want Champions League for next season. Uh, let me remind you here, guys, that if Spectral or Derm win the Champions League, but finish out the top four, and uh, don't quote me on this because in CM the ODB the um, it works like this, that if you finish out of top four but win the Champions League, you do qualify, and it is actually five that qualify for the Champions League. That is how it works in the ODB. Now, I don't know how it's going to work with regards Mark, with uh, because obviously how he does the um, the DTL. For example, I finished fourth. I'm not going to dig up the past, but but I finished fourth, I think, season one or season two, and I didn't go into the Champions League. And the reason I didn't go into the Champions League is because the way Mark does DTL is he starts a fresh game all the time. So even though I finished fourth, he weren't able to do it, which I think is absolutely disgusting, Mark. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how it's going to work in that sense. It will be interesting if that happens, if one of um, Chelsea or something win the Champions League and fail to finish in the top four. And I ain't going to lie to you, I want to see it happen because I'm a spiteful motherfucker. You know. Um, so uh, good luck with these guys. Now, over to Hull City. Um... Hull City, uh, AMC, I think it's fair to say, um, he's had a bit of a shit month, <laughs> you know, I mean, look, I mean, he beat Man City, but just look at it here, he lost to Millwall, he drew a trunky, he lost to me, he lost to, you know, I think, he, he, you know, Hull City, AMC will feel really pissed off that he's really surrendered, uh, surrendered the month, and it's not as if he's a team that's got games in hand. Now, Liverpool at Redders. Now, Redders, of course, has a game in hand, and he can get in with a mix of it on that 68-point thing. Let's see how uh, Redders' uh, month went. Of course, as we can see there, Redders was eliminated out of the UEFA Cup to Tramir. Now, we knew Tramir were in the final. Uh, and again, credit where it's due to rise. Taking out a fellow human manager is not easy. But uh, for Redders, you know, he got big victories in the league, uh, a crucial defeat against uh, Southampton, uh, which could prove costly um, come the end of the season. Who knows? It, pff, Redders, we'll see how it goes. Over to Dwemerston now. Leeds United, 62 points. They're not out of it yet. They're still hoping for a European spot and could well get it. You know, they could well get it. I think with the FA Cup and the League Cup, the way it's going to run, I think three, poss three chances for the uh, UEFA Cup. And I think that's probably going to go to uh, the runners-up of the FA Cup. And... Um, which is going to go to a league, a league place. Um, and then, of course, the League Cup. So, take nothing away here from uh, Leeds United. Do you he could still do it? Uh, the Mighty Gunners, Arsenal, 
Marimo. Now, Marimo was a bit of a, um, he's had a bit of a tough season, I feel. And let's see how his last month went. It was a tough month, weren't it? It really was a tough month. 1-1, one, 0-2, one, nil 0-2, one, nil one, nil one three. Again, you know, how it could have all been different for Marimo. You know, one win, he's got a game in hand there. Uh, one win, it could have made all the difference. Over to Preston North End now then. Preston, uh, Luke. Uh, Luke needs something special, don't he? Uh, let's have a go, go from his last game. 4-2, 2-1, 2-1, 2-2. And uh, eliminated at the FA Cup. He'll be, he'll be pleased with that month, to be fair. 10 points out of 12 in the league. But the FA Cup against Trunky, he will be disgusted with. I would be disgusted with that. That is an absolute shit show. Absolute shit show. Um, now, I actually thought about looking at that formation that Trunky uh, went on. Because I like that formation. And I mentioned this recently. Uh, with Gary Johnson on his save about that 2DMC. He don't quite play the 2 up top, but the 2DMC, obviously, it's an unlocked formation on DTL. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. I don't think I've got the players for it. Trunky luckily does, because he's got a player called Patrick Vieira that he got from someone who was stupid enough to fucking sell him. Um, over to... Where are we? Over to Magic... Now... London at Man United, he's absolute, an absolute horror season for him. It, it's fair to say, it's absolute horror. Through his last game, for, lost 4-2, 3-0. A good month, I guess. You know, 9 points out of 12 in the league. Um, absolute horrendous uh, season for him. Uh, Leicester City, um, General Smuts, 43. He's having a bit of a shit show as well. He really is. I mean, I, mean, I say shit show. I, I expect to be... All the human managers lobbed at the top there. That's what I expect. So I think for you to have uh, uh, AI managers it is almost, it would, would deem a shit show. Maybe I'm being a bit cuntish there, I don't know. But I am a cunt. So, uh, But as far as um, as far as General Smith's concerned, lost for a look at that. What an awful month. Started so well against Watford and then just lost, lost it. Let me just see what formation he was playing. Um, I don't want to tell General Smith how to play. But mate, fucking hell! Um, so yeah, bit of a bit of a tough month, tough month for Leicester City there. Um, now Tranmere Rovers, uh, we just spoke about Tranmere Rovers in respect of uh, in the UEFA Cup final. Their league, I mean, he's got to win that league. He's got to that that UEFA Cup. He really has because it's April month. Let's start then. Um, obviously, he had the UEFA Cup semi-finals, which he managed to do it over two legs. Thrashed against Trunky, uh, drew with me, lost to Man City. I mean, absolute horrid, horrid month in the league um, for Rise. Rise, I know deep down you, you need that UEFA Cup. That is going to save your season. Because obviously, winning the UEFA Cup... Um, now, this is interesting, actually, because going back to what I said about the uh, top six, top seven for the UEFA Cup, if Rise wins the UEFA Cup, that will give him a place... Uh, a re-entry, but I believe it will come at the expense of someone in league standings, which, of course, effectively could affect me. So, I'm not going to lie here, Rise. I hope you fucking lose. I really do. Um, if I end up finishing uh, fifth, Rise, then I hope you win. It, it's going to be a very entertaining last month. I think there's no doubt about that. Uh, let's go to the first division now, then. Our very own Mark. Um, what a fuck... Do you know, I've not even looked at this. What an end to the fucking season here. Uh, Derby have confirmed promotion. Mark is going to want the title. But first and foremost, Mark is going to want promotion. Uh, that is absolutely outrageous. Uh, now, I'm going to make sure I say it. So, Evesham. Not Eversham. Evesham. Um, mate. For Evesham to take promotion, it's going to have to come at the expense of Mark. <laughs> you know. Uh, this is absolutely remarkable. I just really didn't anticipate just how this might end up. But uh, for Mark, then, from his last few games, he won 2-0, he beat Evesham 3-2, 0-0. That defeat at Birmingham is going to kill him. The draw with Gillingham is going to kill him. And look at the final game of the season. As we... Um... Sorry, he didn't play Evesham. He played... Um... Sorry, I got a little bit confused there. Duh. Um, he played just the goes. More about just the goes. But look at the final game of the season. He's played Evesham. That is absolutely outrageous. Uh, Esham's month then uh, lost nil two three one two one lost three one lost a bit of a balanced month uh, and that do you know what Esham you lost to uh, just a ghost 
at the end of the month. Now, we haven't even got to just a ghost yet, but we can see he's not in the top half. Um, <laughs> do you know what? That is absolutely outrageous. Actually, quite a good month for, Eve, uh, for just a ghost. Sorry, I'm getting confused here. I can't get over the final game. <laughs> that. Well, I'll tell you what, right, uh, Eve Sham, it's in your own hands. You win that game and you leapfrog him. Uh, I should point out, Eve Sham, you win that game, I think you'll be eliminated off the forums completely. I really do. I know Mark is like that. He's a bit vindictive and he's a bit of a bad loser. Now, uh, you know, that, 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 is, that is brilliant. That is what it's all about. And the bottom line is, um, whoever fails or is unfortunate enough to end up in the playoffs, I hope you go into the playoffs because this next month, of course, is going to have the playoffs uh, and it's going to involve one of you guys. But that is absolutely outrageous. It really is. Um, and I think I've covered about everything. I don't know what's more entertaining, th th that or, or the Premier League. Um, the Premier League I mean, it is crazy. Let's just have a look now then. So we've got some rescheduled games. Of course, uh, we know there's going to be rescheduled. Arsenal, Tramir. Man City, Liverpool. Uh, then we've got a host of games, um, which is obviously a full programme. That is the penultimate game. And then you've got the FA Cup final, of course, uh, which is the following weekend. Um, and we are entertaining Arsenal. OK, OK, that's, that's a big game against Arsenal. Uh, rescheduled games. Chelsea, Southampton. What a game! What a game that is going to be. Uh, that is obviously taking place at the same time as the FA Cup final. Uh, rescheduled games, Chelsea, Man United. I mean, all these games in hand, Southampton, Man City, all these games in hand are against, uh, they're always likely to be against. Now, don't underestimate for Spectral there that against Southampton, uh, against New Newcastle, that is a former uh, human managed team, so don't underestimate it. And the final game of the season, uh, who knows how this is going to all end up. Man City, Wolves. Well, well. I'm going to I'm gonna sort of wish him luck, but I'm not, because I, I need to win, you know. Man City, I, you know, it's going to have the FA Cup final as well. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Man City will have had a few injuries in the FA Cup final the previous week. Fingers crossed. Uh, do you know what, right? This, I, I don't ever recall it being as entertaining as, as, as ever as, like this, because this has been absolutely, this is brilliant. I mean, once these guys play their games in hand, it might not be quite as entertaining. But this is this is outrageous. Sixty. I mean, I'm thinking from a selfish point of view here. If uh, Liverpool win their game in hand, they will be level with me. And um, the goal difference, you know, if they win it three 0 they've got to win it four 0 It's going to be crazy. Um, and I've got to see really these guys lose their games in hand. Wouldn't you just love to see like a live a live run of this? You really would. Uh, I think Ray when he used to do the uh, all mouth and no trousers uh, thing, which was a bit like um, another uh, interactive game we've got going on over here. But he used to do a sim similar interactive on Facebook, and he used to run it live. And I think that would be great, particularly for the end of this. But, you know, I think it's a big ask to say to Mark, on top of everything else that he does in life with the forums and his work and his own family life, mate, I want a stream. I, I actually think, I think it's quite reasonable, to be honest with you, considering that is equally... I mean, that wouldn't be as ridiculous if it weren't for that last game of the season. Uh, let's talk about who's can be deemed a flop of the year. Because I think we've got to be honest here. Uh, just a ghost. I would say you are one of the flops. And if it weren't for uh, Rise... If it weren't for Rise and his UEFA Cup heroics, I'd say Rise as well. But, not going to put Rise up there. Uh, Leicester and Man United. Now, Leicester... Uh, Leicester and Man United, I think you've got to put them amongst... I mean, Man U did better in the FA Cup, so I'm going to go with Leicester City. Uh, apologies, General Smuts, but General Smuts uh, and just a ghost. You guys, you know, you might think this is a bit harsh, but you deserve, you deserve to be shot. You really do. Now, this is all good fun, guys, and I think a big credit here to Mark on the work that goes in on, on this. Um, and... The, 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 you know, I will certainly be doing a video at the end of the season. I didn't do one for um, for, April, uh, for March, as I said, for the month gone March. But I think we're going to have to have one for April because this is absolutely fucking brilliant. It really is. 
And that's it from me, guys, on the DTL. Till next time, take it easy.